okay so welcome back again to another video and today's video will basically be an eye tutorial basically showing you guys a good eye look for brown skin girls with the new morphe palette and this palette does retail for like 23 dollars i believe i actually got it for free because my cousin i love her so much she actually purchased this palette for me for free she thought about me she wanted to know like when it first came out did i get it i was like no i actually didn't even know anything about this palette until she mentioned it to me so she actually went and purchased it for me while she was getting her one so i am so excited so i'm going to show you guys about this palette i'll also leave a link down below on where to get this palette from and it is a new 35r palette it hasn't been out for that long um, let me go ahead and open it up for you. A bit messy because I just used it for this look. Um, so this is how it looks. This palette has 15 shimmers, 13 mattes, and two satins that are right here. So I really, really love this palette. It does remind me a little bit of the um, Morphe 350 palette. If you guys haven't seen that palette, it's, it kind of reminds me of it, but it has more warm tones. You know, it's suited, suited a little bit better for um, darker skin girls. I know I do love my 350 palette as well though because that's the main palette I've been using. But I can see me giving that palette a rest now to start using this one. So um, some of these colors are actually in the um, 350 palette as well. And there's a few new ones in here. So um, yeah, I want to show you a good look to make here with this palette. For brown skin girls as well i'm not really good at making my eyes just like rich like boom boom like as soon as i blink you like see like all the pizzazz you know from far away i can't do that well i can with glitter but not with like shimmers but yeah so if you want to see how i created this look then just keep on watching okay so now i'm just about to start with the look um as you already see i already did my foundation and stuff like that so i'm about to just go back over again really quickly and i'm just going to take my beauty blender and i'm just going to reapply some setting powder right here at the edge of my eye just so I won't have any like fallout. So excited for this palette. Um, if you guys, I know you haven't seen my blog yet, but my blog will be up and you will see like the drama I have to go through with getting this palette. It is ridiculous. Okay, so first I'm gonna use my Morphe G17 brush and I'm going to first start off with this color, this color first and yeah and I'm gonna apply that as my crease color and I like to bring mine up a little bit so if you guys wonder why I'm looking down it's because I have my mirror like right here so it is raining outside oh my goodness I absolutely love red definitely like for darker skin girls it's just so pretty to me it's like a great like base like that reddish like little brown like undertone or that pinkish color with a brown undertone. It is just gorgeous. Now I'm about to go in with my Morphe M139 brush and I'm gonna go with the first color that I wanted to use and it is and it's the top and it's this top one like right here at the top like the top left. So yes I'm gonna take that color and tap like the excess off and I'm going to use that 
somewhat as a transition almost. So I'm only putting that like directly here. So wrong tip, you can always like look up if you want to, to make sure you're only getting that one spot. I feel like these colors are like so, yes, they're so pigmented. I just had to go back in with the, the previous color because I don't know what happened. But it didn't look in the area that I needed to. Okay. So now I'm going to take the same um, hand brush and I'm going in with a somewhat of a dark brown here go in with this color right here and I'm going to and I'm just going to put that right underneath what I just did you kind of give it like a transition effect since that wasn't as dark as I wanted it to be yeah so And I'm mainly focusing it on my outer V area. To me, that's why I like dark colors to be seen at most. So, yeah, just really focus it like right there on your outer V. Okay. Take my Morphe E14 brush and I'm gonna spray a little of my makeup mist and set. I have this from Elf. But a lot of you people use the um the matte fix plus i don't have that so i gotta use what i got go with this color at the top right and i'm just gonna tap that on the lid I find that when you tap your product on, definitely like glitter, it shows up better than you just like wiping it on. So that's a tip. If you've been having problems with your shimmer applications, then just tap. I'm starting to like this look, but I think I need just like a little bit more I need more now I'm gonna take this um brown top eyeshadow brush it doesn't have a name it's not a particular brand and again I'm just gonna spray some setting mist on there and now I want to try to go in with a different color this color I want to be different okay I'm gonna take this color dab it and I'm gonna stick this like dead in the center and give it like a transition like different like a fake or something I don't know oh yes this is beautiful And just like that, it like dead in the center. Oh my god, you guys, this is gorgeous. My co workers are gonna be like, You must just film the video. I'm like, You know, I did <laughs> because I never like wear makeup like that, so they know, like, when I have like a completely like beat face, they know I filmed the video. So, I'm basically going back in. I did this already, but I'm gonna go back in with the first shimmer and just apply that 
to the outer portions because I feel like I lost the color applying the second shimmer. So just to the outer and inner V, I'm going to apply that red shimmer bag. Next I'm going in with my NYC um, eyeliner and this is in the color Paralyzed Black. Paralyzed Pearl lies black, whatever. About to go in with my mascara. I need to get some more so this is about to run out. But this actually lasts me for a long time, like almost a year. And this is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I absolutely love this because the wand is so thin. I think I've put this on one of my favorites videos quite a few times. But yeah, I might just take this powder off my face and I just pat it into the skin so yeah that's what I'm doing I'm just patting this set of powder into my skin See this like smaller one to think. I'm going to use this to actually go in with the the very first color we used, which is like the reddish to the second to the top left. I'm going to use that and I'm going to put that underneath my eye. Jaclyn Hill. So I'm going to take that goldish color that we use for the middle part of our lid. I'm going to take that and put that directly in the middle. And I'm going to get a clean brush that is just like the other one. Again, spray. It's like you have to spray when you're using like shimmers crazy. If not, it will not show. It will really not show. On my lashes I have the Ardell wispy lashes so I'm about to apply those really quickly and I'm going to apply those off camera okay so now that I got that on I'm just gonna finish my little bit of makeup that I have left and I'm going in with my Becca highlighter in the color champagne pop by Jaclyn Hill and I'm just going to use that and I'm using my Morphe E4 brush. Same with the highlighter. Again, and I'm going to use now my Morphe E45 brush. And I like to use this brush for like the nose area. It like gets it perfectly. It's like so. And it goes exactly where I want it to go. Next, all I gotta do is my lips, and I'm going in with the chestnut lip pencil for MAC.
a good tip to learn when putting on lipstick and stuff, if you smile while applying it, you get every crack and crevice in your lips. So you won't be missing anything out. I actually learned that from a celebrity makeup artist. So while being on set. So also just make sure that, you know, a NYX liquid suede lipstick and it's in the color soft spoken. And next, I'm going to use my Jason Wu um, finishing spray. I really need to get that um, MAC Fix Plus though, because I swear makeup artists here on YouTube at like Fix Plus stops like murders. So I really need to get that. Okay, you guys, so this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this look. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, make sure you follow me on all my social media at Whitley Janae. As always, it will be right here. And also, so make sure you subscribe to this channel to receive future updates on when I post my upcoming videos. So be on the lookout for that. So, yeah, that is it for this video. And I'll see you guys in my next one next week.